All right. So I want to ask you guys this. Anyone here play Fortnite? Hell no. Hell no. no. Freaking no. Fuck I, that. Wanted I, the I, have, game I did so follow badly. it. I wanted to play the game so badly when it was originally announced, when it was a zombie survival game. I'm not sure if anybody remembers that when it was announced to be a fort building zombie survival game uh, in the like the orcs must die type of vein. I wanted to play it so badly. And then when they did the battle royale, I hated it with a passion. I don't play battle royale for the same reason I don't play MOBA games because you, you it's it's a one off. I feel like I I feel like somehow I've been abused. Somehow I, I have to like, you know, sit down and, and I don't know, just put <laughs> put some cream on myself or something. You know, like I need to feel better. No, I need to hold myself and, and relax because I I, I, I there's no progression, you know, there's no progression whatsoever. Um, and there's no skills and, and a lot of it is luck. And, uh, it's the same thing with MOBA. And by the way, you don't do well unless you're coordinating. Uh, no, I, I, I hate battle Royales for that reason. And I hate MOBAs for the same reason. Nope. Fuck them both in the ear. Well, I, I actually play it, uh, in terms of its creative mode where you can just go in and build stuff. Uh, I enjoy that. But uh, I, in terms of the Battle Royale, I, I get my butt handed to me every time I attempt it. Yeah. But, but the people who love Fortnite mm -hmm. are saying that the latest season is the worst of all the seasons so far. Yeah. And so even, I, wonder, even I heard about that. And like they lost a lot of. Yeah. Well, as someone who plays competitive games, I, I do play MOBAs occasionally, mostly Smite. Mm. The idea of putting in something so random as the mechs was the worst idea I've ever heard. Well, the, the, big, the biggest issue here, let me just reference this article before we start talking about it, is that uh, the maps have been changed. And the biggest issue is that they've added these things called brutes or giant mechs that uh, are way overpowered and they're upsetting the balance of competitive play. And after the uh, the user base kind of you know screamed in outrage over these mechs uh epic instead of removing them they've tried to kind of patch them to make them a little bit more underpowered uh, they added a targeting laser to help players better avoid the mech's weapons and reduce their spawn rate in competitive modes a uh, player just didn't feel that this was enough prompting epic to eventually reply to reiterate that the mechs would stay in the game in part because they're there to add some spectacle and entertainment to fortnite uh, they recently added a, a patch where you can have this, uh, this uh, uh, new weapon that kind of creates these rifts, these portals that throw out junk that, that can destroy player buildings and mechs and stuff like that. Apparently, it's really easy to avoid with the mechs. And so um, a lot of big uh, Fortnite streamers like uh, Tim the Tapman, Dr. Lupo, they have switched to playing different games. Uh, until this uh, this season kind of uh, uh, ends, yes. and uh, a lot of people uh, because of that are kind of, I, and I guess it's been you know, some viewership and stuff like that. So, what do you guys think of this? Uh, why is Fortnite refusing to basically change this thing that everyone hates? Well, uh, Epic Mario? is. Oh, sorry. Uh, go ahead, Lugs. So Epic has very much been, uh, we're going to double down on everything. That's the company policy. Every time I see them do anything, if someone gets upset about something, they say, no, we're going to double down on anything. Uh, Epic Game Store is a big thing. I'm not even going to start down that path because there's a bunch of issues with that. But they don't like to admit they're wrong about things. So I don't ever see them saying, we messed up the game with this. There's also the fact that if they say they've messed up, people will worry about the tournaments in the future. And that's where a lot of the money from the game comes from is these usually wildly viewed tournaments that, you know, I think what uh, the, the guy that you mentioned in the article, Booga, made $3 million at 15 for the tournament, 16. Up, yeah. Yeah, so they don't want to admit we've messed up the balance before, especially if there's any tournaments coming up, because suddenly that becomes a lessly viewed, lessly uh, uh, popular, uh, less money coming in for skins because people are not paying as much of attention to it. 
Now, Mario, uh, one of the reasons that they've given for the inclusion of these decks is that um, even though Fortnite is a competitive game to a certain extent, uh, a big issue is that people of lower skill, such as myself, can't hop in and actually compete uh, just on a casual basis because some people are so good. So they want to give uh, plebes like me uh, something over that I can use to maybe like get a few kills before like I'm. You know, I'm, there's I'm so much other ways to do that bro yeah. i mean what do you no, think it's no different it's no different than having than having a level one try and pvp against a level 100. you know you have skill based ma uh, matchmaking um um you know like there's there's so much different things that they can do as far as like um what game was that that like like the first the first like 15 oh call of duty first 15 levels are generally played with people that are similar skill or similar uh level type thing you know that they, they could have definitely put that in rather than putting in the freaking the the, the damn hemorrhoid of, of a giant mech that, that blows people away to mess up to mess up you know just overall what people are trying to achieve you know a hemorrhoid uh, of a mech i never heard that yeah before. yeah you know um either either for lower level guys uh you know hey you know you have you maybe you have a little bit more health you know until you get once you get to higher level everything starts to balance out um because i know one of the biggest things and and you guys have known me for years i'm a huge gamer i jumped into fortnite and i was like what the fuck is going on i next thing i know i got shotgun in the face by a kid said hold my pocket you know i'm like what the hell like what the hell's going on you know um there's no real tutorials yeah there's no real tutorial to do it um but they definitely could have gone a different direction as far as rather than putting something that's an inconvenience to people who already play um, I think so, they could have balanced it out for the for the lower level guys though. So my big thing with the mechs, the actual from a competitive standpoint, the big thing that actually adds is the guys who are good. It actually removes a little bit of the. Uh, so later on in the game, if you were really really good, um, there was still the chance that someone would snipe you. You get sniped from across the map something like that uh this actually gives those good guys who make it into the top 20 where everybody has i think golden weapons at that point or something like that um that gives them a second health bar pretty much and that to me is part of the major issue because the mech needs to explode before you die like you don't i if i remember correctly you don't actually take damage while you're in the mech now, Sekis, uh Fortnite just came off of a big month where they had their World Cup, and it was a uh, it was a big deal. People won millions of dollars. It was a uh, feud all over the place. But now, off of that high, everyone seems to be kind of uh, very upset with Epic Games. Uh, you know, and Epic hasn't exactly been winning hearts and minds with their Epic Store and all the uh, the controversy there. So what do you think uh, is the mentality that's going on over at this company? That's well, didn't, turning didn't, didn't Epic just take that game and then just turn their, their, the loader for it, uh, Fortnite, and turn the, the loader for Fortnite just into a front-end store? I think that's all they did, and they're just trying to compete with Steam. Um, and I don't, I don't see that going anywhere. I don't see, I don't think they're going to ever take over Steam. And um, nobody is. Steam no, yeah. is in this lane, and they perfected it. Yeah, so yeah. Epic is just going to do what they can and try what they can, and they got this one, you know, golden jewel in their little crown, and they're going to hold on to it. And you know what? They're they're fucking it up. Like I would expect they will, because they're trying to expand their player base. Because I think they know that there's a half life to this game. Um, and maybe it's another two or three years, but, uh, you know, they're trying to expand their player base by doing this. So um, I don't think it's going to give them what they want. What you, this is not how you do it. What you do is you, you do something like what Sony did, right? You buy a, a coding house and then you, you make more games and then you, put, you make those exclusive and then you throw it on your platform. What you don't do is just try to take your good game and then let's try to tweak it to let it uh, appeal to everybody. How many times has that been tried? Well, the, the one thing about Epic that um, you're not going to see with Sony, Unreal Engine is, uh, this is from a dev standpoint. Unreal Engine in terms of engines is probably top three. It, it's probably between, yeah, there's CryEngine, there's Unreal Engine. Frostbite. And Frostbite. Frostbite, but that's the EA exclusive. 
And then there's uh, uh, Unity. Unity, yeah. Unity is the third engine. So even if they end up dropping the store, even if they end up dropping uh, Fortnite, they still have one of the top engines that different studios use. So I don't see them going anywhere because of that. Yeah, and um, it's important to note that Fortnite makes them like $100 million a month, give or take. Uh, yeah. Every month. Jesus Christ. Are you, and, are you sure it's 100 million? I thought they did, made 5 million off of Fortnite last year. Where do they make the money from? The game is free to play. Well, it's free to it's play, skin. but they sell battle passes and they sell skins. So, like, you can buy V Bucks, which is in currency, to buy like all the, the stuff within the game. So they monetize it in some way. And so, by doing these different seasons and uh, constantly adding stuff to the game on a monthly basis, they, uh, very keep the play very let's not forget the culture i people. mean I everybody it. everybody's doing like the dances movies movies are doing the dances from fortnite you know everybody's doing everybody knows the fortnite dances and stuff like that you know what i mean so it's like every at one point or another fortnite has its hands not just in video games but in in, in today's society yeah but uh, epic is very protective of fortnite like i remember when apex legends came out they um uh all, when people were praising all the stuff that Apex Legends kind of innovated on, within a week, uh, Fortnite had incorporated all the stuff that people were praising about Apex Legends into their game, Ooh. like uh, the the, uh, the uh, tagging system and uh, the respawn system. Like all that stuff was added to Fortnite after uh, Apex Legends came along. It kind of stole Apex Legends thunder. Uh, to that extent, uh, which was kind of interesting. But the reason that they were able to do that so quickly is simply because they've got a full-time development team on Fortnite. Uh, just a week? That's impressive, hey, man. Hey, Cole, can you put her back and you go back to the bathroom where you are? <laughs> that was just... She was, uh, <laughs> She was much easier on the eyes than your ugly face ever would be. So, yeah, back in the day, we didn't have video chat like this. We I know, right? Audio early, and so. Ventrilo. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys used to uh, always ask me to put someone else on, anyway. So, yep. <laughs> yeah, don't stop on my account. You're good. You're blurry anyway. I can't even see what the hell you look like. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Oh, there you go. There Thank we you. go. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, ladies. That's awesome. They could just stay right there. That's perfect. <laughs> I got my dog. Where's my dog? Where's my dog at? Where's my dog at? Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Leo, uh, final thoughts on Fortnite. Do you think uh, this is going to hurt it long term, or is this just a blip now? The they make too much money, man. They're gonna. They're gonna. They're 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 too they're too far in now, man. The bean counters are gonna throw as much money as they can at it, between PR and everything like that. Something they're gonna do something extravagant that's to make everybody happy. You know what I mean? So, it's pretty much like having a really really bad sandwich, and next thing you know, Chick Fil A sends you, you know, coupon for you know, chicken Chick Fil A sandwiches for the, for the rest of the year. You're like, oh shit, screw that last sandwich I had. You know what I mean? So that, that's what's gonna happen. They're just gonna throw money at it. Simple as that. Uh, well, what, do you think this is gonna affect Fortnite at all? Um, Fortnite is a fad. It really is. No matter what you see, it like I actually Minecraft has jumped back past Fortnite. I believe a lot of yes, time. it has. Minecraft. And you know why? Yeah. RTX uh, came out. In fact, I was just reading about that. I'll give you a link. Uh, no, even before RTX, uh, PewDiePie actually brought the newest fad back, before, and then RTX came right after that. Yeah. What's that, RTX? Um, so, uh, ray tracing. So if you look at yeah. that link, you could bring it up. So Minecraft is uh, basically skinning itself with ray tracing. So they're only doing it on the, on the surface. They're not taking it all the way through uh, the actual voxel. So it's only at the edges. And um, it's, it's basically adding a whole new layer of reality to Minecraft. Now, the problem is, is you need to run... What's the video card? The RTX 2080. This is a $1,200 yeah. video card. Well, you no, no. Have, there's, have um, there's a couple of. Uh, <laughs> of course you do. Leo. Of course you do. <laughs> there's a couple of shader engines that actually do the exact same thing as that, but it's a uh, it's a ten dollar a month Patreon for the guy who does it. Um, 
and they they'll work with any video card because they mostly do CPU level ray tracing. Uh, Interesting. I didn't even know that, that would work on the frame rates, but okay. It actually works better than RTX ray tracing at this point is like you'll need Leo set up to actually uh, manage decent frame rates for any type of RTX at this point. Yeah. Um, uh, so RTX is mostly at this point so a future tech mm. that might actually be good sometime in three or four years if you're not willing to spend $2,200 just on video cards. Yeah, they 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 barely they barely have NV Link together. Yeah, and, I mean, so, I mean um, they can't even they can't well, even the, use the power. The trailer button. looked awesome for this new this yeah. RTX mine. Yeah, looked awesome. If you look at some of the guy uh, who does the shaders, his actually looks better than the RTX uh, version of it. Um, well, I saw this a couple of months ago. The funny thing is, PewDiePie has been streaming uh, Minecraft lately, which I think. Has has in, inspired other streamers to do it. And as people get frustrated with Fortnite with this season, they've been moving over to Minecraft. And uh, GTA. For, and, and Grand Theft Auto and uh, uh, other oh, games. Yes. I love that game. That's GTA my game right there. RP has actually been one of the uh, mm -hmm. big games lately, too. And as I think. You know, I got like 1.6 billion on that game online. I have epic of course stuff. You do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, yeah, the uh, GTA RP community has gotten gigantic recently too, spe specifically since uh, Fortnite started having their issues because a lot of the Fortnite streamers moved over to that. Uh, I think Shroud went back to something, and he was one of the big streamers who Ninja has actually only done, I think, he's done three-fourths of his streams on G on. Um, He's on Mixer now, though. He, he yeah. Left. yeah. Yeah. So I guess what you think about uh, about um, Fortnite? Final thoughts? Uh, fuck Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> you're on your uh, that's my and that's my final answer to. Uh, I, I don't need a I don't need a life. Uh, Real quick, something, something something to add four seconds, you know, for <laughs> an actual response. Um, that wasn't. I, think actual. I, I, I know, right? <laughs> I think it's really crazy how, like, we're in an era where, um, you know, how streamers alone, like one individual, can influence the ability for for games to do well. Dude, had we, I mean, as a guild, uh, had we actually had the foresight for this, I think we, us. Oh, totally. Oh totally, my god! Absolutely. absolutely. Oh my god! <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, it was it was a huge thing. It was a huge thing when 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 Owen Cold was on the you know the forums for DC and stuff, and devs are actually talking to him, getting our input, you know, as yeah. far as like what we thought about some of the raids, you know, for like DC Universe, for instance. You know what I mean? Um, it's not quite yeah, as much now. Now it now it's huge. Like one person influences millions of people to go on or on or off a game. I mean, like like we're talking about with Ninja. Twitch, Twitch lost so much subscribers and stuff. Uh, I will make a suggestion. We don't have to. We don't have to do anything, of course, right now. But I think long term, we should think about some sort of streaming as a guild. I'm not sure how that would work, but we could stream a game, uh, pick a game where we're going to stream. Maybe Overwatch. Just saying, uh, and yeah. pick a game to stream. And I think we should do it as a guild because our interaction. Um, you know, we just go up against a boss or something and just watch me flip the fuck out. And then Edmund can, you know, go off. It would be, it would be great. It would be great. That's all I'm saying. Just saying. Yeah, I agree. That might be a future thought. Um, as far as Fortnite I goes, I think Battle Royale as a genre is, is I mean, okay, so you went from MMORPGs being a big... Uh, a big industry then that became uh, your Battle of the Ancients type of games, your uh, Dota's and stuff like that, which is still, honestly, I think the invitation will just happen as the largest uh, prize pool ever in a game. Wow. I think it's what, like uh, 31 million this year for the prize pool? Oh. Oh. Invitational. And then you have. How do I now, get in on that shit? Wow. Yeah, no shit. Wow. Now it's Battle Royales. Uh, and, and actually, before even MMORPGs, it was RTSs were the big game. Right. Stop I have a feeling, no. yeah, Battle Royale is a fad. It's going to go away shortly. Uh, it's 
uh, about the end of its lifespan. If you consider other genres, you might have two more years left in it. And then you'll hear something about a new game that suddenly everybody is interested yep. in. And that will be the new fad that you'll see every company in the world try to replicate for the next. It'll be it happens all the time. Look at Wildstar. Wildstar tried to be a, a, a Star Wars type uh, wow. Yeah. That didn't last. It was, yeah, the biggest, it was the biggest thing since sliced bread. I just oh, watched yeah. the Overwatch oh, League. I, that, that league game is awesome. They have like like um, ESPN yeah. type an announcers. It's great. I, I think it's awesome. I could it, actually right? see hero based FPSs uh, make a comeback because they didn't really have a chance to shine. Yeah. I could see, Any, uh, anybody, anybody wants to shine, man, come see me on 007 and 1064. I got you. Oh, yeah. That, was actually, yeah, that was that was actually yeah, that was hero base FPS. That actually, yeah. uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. I hope you got a lot out of it. And remember, if you want to support the channel, please check us out on the socials. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Matthew Kadish. You can also find our discussion group over on Facebook at eggfbgroup.com. That's eggfbgroup.com. Takes you right to our Facebook discussion group. And if you'd like to help support the channel, check out my books over on amazon.com. You can find them by going to kadishbooks.com. That's K-A-D-I-S-H books.com. And as always, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon so you're notified every time we upload a new video. For more movie, TV, and entertainment news and analysis, this is Matthew Kadish. I'll catch you guys later.